Hello! It's finally happened. A true successor to the Pop Station has been developed. A sequel, if you like. Pop Station the Next Generation. You know, like in Star Trek, when they replaced William Shatner with Patrick Stewart and then replaced all the plots with techno babble. Anyway, let's get on with it. First, there was the Pop Station. Now, there is the PCP Station. Yes, because it's always a good idea to name your fake toys after some sort of horrifying, mind-bending drug. PCP, actually, if you remember old 80s action films, was often used as an excuse for why the villain suddenly had superpowers. Somebody would, like, smash through a wall and then chuck a car across the street and then take 43 bullets to the chest and somebody would say, Look out, he's on PCP, as if that was an excuse when in real life PCP is more likely to make you sort of sit alone in a room and carve your own face off. Anyway, PCP station value pack, yes. It's like in the fake PSP box again. Look, it's all the stuff on the bottom that I don't think the real PSP has had in its box for years. Game Advance, yes. It's still a value pack with earphone, just the one. Oh dear, I've got to stop doing that joke. Game Handle. <laughs> which is kind of like a controller, only the same. And colour display, which is probably a lie, like always. And shown on the front is the wonderful game Thunderbolt Airplane, which looks suspiciously like Super Mario to me, and also has no characters. Anyway, let's have a look round the box. Hmm, upside down. Pop, pop and Game Advance. Hmm. No, it's not Pop, is it? It's PCP. Sorry, I was thrown off by this Cian thing. I wonder what that means. It says station there. Oh no, here we are. Cien again. And what about the back? No, it doesn't say top, bottom. Oh yes, here we are. Oh, that one says station. Bizarre. I wonder where all the tops to the T's went. Perhaps they're collecting them and going to use them later. They've got some redemption value or something. Oh look, it's available in different colours. Silver and white, and red and black. And neither of them are ticked, so this is like the magical unknown one. Right. How does that work? I've sort of printed the back upside down or something. Bizarre. Right, let's read the tat on the back. Function keys manual, blah, blah, battery installation, blah, blah, blah. Warning. Oh, it was like the warnings, and there's plenty of them. Not suitable for children under three years old due to swallowing small parts. Subject to the technical change and change of colour. Yes, if a child under three swallows the small parts, they will undergo a technical change and then change colour. Makes sense to me. All packing materials, such as instruction sheet, plastic bags, stickers, and not the necessary part of this product should be disposed of for your child's safety. Safety first. Batteries must be removed and inserted with the correct polar blah, 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 blah. Boring, boring, boring. Please retain this important information if you can understand any of it. Made in China. I'm not surprised. 1.5 volts, triple A's. Yep, again, I'm not surprised. Oh, that's the... <laughs> just stare at that in confusion. That's the um, don't throw it in a bin symbol, just really badly rendered. It looks more like it's saying, if you've got a long square face, don't wear a bad wig. There we are. Sad Onion says, not for children aged 0 to 8. Children under 3 up there. Obviously it's even more dangerous the further you go down the box. Save our planet, please recycle. Mm. Another recycling thing. And the certificate of European safety, which is probably a fake they've just printed on. OK, let's have a look. Optional games. Thunderbolt Airplane, now actually looking like a sky as opposed to Super Mario. Super... <laughs> oh dear, I've forgotten that. Super Mary, uh, which is obviously Super Mario after he's undergone a gender swap operation. Street Overlord, oh no, it's that blooming Street Fighter, City Fighter thing game again where people pull their own arms off and throw them at each other. Non-such fly racing. Um, presumably a racing game about a fly that doesn't exist. I don't really know. And... Sh <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, I haven't looked at this box in ages and I've forgotten this one was called Chanticleer Hegemony, which has got to be the most ludicrous title for a game ever. And it shows a picture of a beach, inexplicably. I mean, a Chanticleer is like a really old term for a uh, cockerel, isn't it, a rooster? And hegemony is some sort of political thing where sort of part of a federation has control of another part or something, so what? It's a game about political roosters controlling things I don't know. Why is it on a beach? What is this game? If I remember, it's not in the box, so we won't actually know. Never mind. <sighs> One extra feature, and you're going to love this. 
The PCP station is now so advanced they want you to see what it looks like. The box has a flap. So you can see what it looks like before you buy it. That's probably a really bad idea for selling them, because, you know, take one look at that and you're going to run off as opposed to part with cash. Also, they didn't bother printing anything on the inside lead. It looks cheap. Right, the time has come to open her up and see what lurks inside. Although, as we've already seen explicitly what lurks inside by looking through the flap, it's not going to be much of a surprise. Especially not to me, because I've already opened it up and put batteries in earlier. OK, plastic, out it comes. <gasps> oh, look! Massive upgrade to the instructions. Now it's on a sheet of A4. Half of them are in Chinese and half of them are in English, which kind of makes sense. Hmm. Some kind of control matrix, which you presumably need some kind of uh, degree in something obscure to understand. Right. Game 1, Street Overlord. The game have nine level. Each pass must have two victory and three chess bode. Exceed two chess bode to able to pass a test. Great, that sorted that out. What about non-such racing? I'm intrigued by the title. The game begin enter demo mode. Rate is H and L pace. Hail and pace, an old um, British comedy duo. H document most speed can 250. L can 150 rate. Racing also... Oh, go on, this is what I'm interested in most. Good, good old Chanticleer hegemony. Basic operation. A key and B key. Dragon roll. Air dranon roll. Speediness double hit. Air speediness carom. Ready for fight. Dragonfall under a Hank Cyclone. Jumping, send out a big Hank Cyclone. What is this about? Is it a shoot em up? Is it something about dragons fighting each other? Is it some kind of drug induced um, hallucination? I have no idea. Game four Thunderbolt Airplane. The airplane can shoot single rank bomb. It will two rank aerolite favour left and right, still move in middle screen. If it send out shot wipe aerolite, the shot will disappear. Right, I'll bear that in mind. And finally, Super Mary. <coughs> dun, 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 dun. The game begin, enter demo. Press start key, right? The game have nine degree and five past. First degree have not money. Since having level have money, each degree a piece root is first degree root repeat. But the way move speed is can quicken. Also, <laughs> I've just noticed, look, it explicitly uh, calls the character rather than Mary, Mario. If third pass in screen and right appear small man, the road stop. This time Mario will go small man locks eight. The road keep on a head motion. Yeah, see the problem with Google Translate is don't work very well from going from sort of Chinese to English, does it? You thought they'd have sussed that out by now and perhaps employed somebody who speaks a bit of both. Anyway, here's the device. Thunderbolt airplane is already installed. What excitement. And you can see my ridiculous face. Hello. That was fun. Right, Street Overlord, Super Mary, and they're the only games we have. Tragically, we can't play uh, the weird dragon thing or Chanticleer Hegemony or... Hang on. Chanticleer Hegemony was the dragon thing, wasn't it? Oh, I'm so confused. These pop stations always do that to me. And soon they'll be doing it to you too. Right. Quick look at the unit. It's got a weird hole in the back. I don't know what that... Hang on! What? Let's get back the box. Earphone, game handle, neither are actually included. Very naughty. I was going to say that looks like something where a controller would plug in but doesn't actually have any input, which is odd. Batteries go in there. Pain comes out here. Um, speakers, well, one's probably a speaker and one's probably just holes. Uh, D pad on the reason, blah, blah, blah. Xbox 360 rip off buttons. In fact, that's, I think that's what they're trying to do with the aesthetics. They've tried to make a PSP look a bit more Xbox 360 and not really pulled it off. Push button that, that ejects the screen, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I presume it does. I haven't actually tried that. Yeah, oh, yes. Quite violently, in fact. Get that back in. And there's the on switch. No. Oh, no, that's the backlight. Look. The backlight that's actually a front light and only lights up the right hand side. That's quite odd. Oh, that'll work. Let's see what Thunderbolt Airplane is like, shall we? A sort of bastardised version of Entrance to the Gladiators there. Right, start. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like Afterburner, only appalling. Um, can't appear to shoot through the clouds. So I'm the sort of A10 thing at the Cessna or something at the bottom. Got to shoot the aeroplane at the top. This isn't very interesting. It's all new, that's something. Slightly more advanced than the old Pop Station games, I suppose. I use the term slightly under advisement. 
Oh, come on, just shoot it. It's boring. What does the B button do? Oh, yeah, nothing. Neither do any of the others. Marvellous. So what, you just kind of fire into the air and never hit this thing at the top? Meanwhile, clouds that look like escapees from asteroids float on overhead. This is so tedious, it's... Oh, yes, I think I hit it! It went blip. Go on, I've got to blow it up. Go on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it hit me, I think. See, when usually when aircraft fire sort of large things to hit each other, it doesn't go bing! There's usually some sort of explosion, is my understanding. Anyway. Are we shooting each other's missiles out of the air? Is that the reason of the tedium? Oh, it's got me now. Oh, forget it. That's the most boring thing since Captain Boring. I just made him up. Right, next. Oh, go on. Street Overlord. I'm hoping this is going to be a bit different, because, you know, the unit's difference and everything, and I kind of said it was a next generation at the start. Um, probably should have tried this game out first. Never mind. Let's go. Oh, no, it's exactly the same music and everything. Oh, no, wait. Flashy faces in the corners. What's going on? That's Ryu on the left and Sagat on the right in negative, I think. Yeah. Blimey, they've actually ripped off Street Fighter characters. Until the game starts, I dare say. Um, right, start. This is awful. Oh, yeah, look. They've kind of upgraded the graphics a bit and made them look a bit like Ryu and Sagat. And still it's just people chucking their arms at each other. Or chucking their legs, actually. Oh, look, Hadouken at the top, look. Depending which part of the screen you go to, he has different, uh, well, I would say frames of animation, but that's stretching it a bit. Punchy, fiery. Game's about the same, except now works on three levels as opposed to the uh, single level of the original. Still absolute rubbish. Please see the characters are ripped off, though. That always brings a smile to my face. OK, last one. This is one I'm most interested in, because I've got no idea how they're going to get a platform game on a pop station derivative. Super Mary! Go on, then. Let's hear what it sounds like. Hmm. Oh, I haven't turned it on. Same music as the aeroplane thing. Hmm. Right, start. Well, there's lots of Marios and coins and lines. Presumably these lines are used to make platforms, or is it a maze? I can't tell. This doesn't make any sense. What's going on? What? Oh, no! Look! Look at the score at the top. The numbers don't make any sense. It's doing that thing again where they've put the wrong game with the wrong screen or whatever, and it's actually Thunderbolt Airplane, isn't it? Just showing with the Super Mary graphics. Ah, heartbreaking. I was really looking forward to seeing what that looked like. That's just how sad my life has become. Oh, well. Enough. Off. Onto the sofa with ye. <clears throat> Off. Thank you. Oh, well, what can we say to that? It's a successor to the pop station. It's slightly more advanced in that it's got a bigger screen and interchangeable backgrounds and the games have a little bit more to them. The Super Mary one looking quite interesting if it worked, but yeah, it's the same old pop station stuff. Slightly tedious, doesn't work properly, makes my brain hurt, avoid at all costs. You heard it here first. Unless somebody else reviewed it before me, of course.